Travis Scott has called out the Grammys for snubbing him during his performance at the Very Awards ceremony. La Flame delivered a medley of Utopia tracks at the 2024 Grammys on Sunday, February 4, and during a fiery rendition of F.E., and alongside Playboy Cardi, he ad-libbed the phrase, they slept on me ten times, in reference to his ten nominations, but zero wins at the awards. Scott also closed out his set by smashing folding chairs against the ground, although it's unclear if this was an act of frustration or merely part of his typically amped-up show. The Houston native's sole nomination at last night's awards was for Best Rap Album, with Utopia going up against Nas King's Disease 3, Metro Boomin's Heroes and Villains, Drake and 21 Savage's collaborative effort Her Loss, and eventual winner Killer Mike Michael. After the winner of Best Rap Album was announced, Scott appeared to voice his displeasure on X, formerly Twitter, by posting a raised eyebrow emoji. Travis Scott was previously nominated for Best Rap Album in 2019 for Astroworld alongside Pusha T's Daytona, Nipsey Hussle's Victory Lap, Mac Miller's Swimming and Cardi B's Invasion of Privacy. Cardi picked up the win that year, making her the first solo female artist to ever win the award. Lauren Hill previously won Best Rap Album as part of the Fugees. Scott also had two other nominations that year, both for his hit single Sicko Mode, which was up for Best Rap Performance and Best Rap Song. It lost out in the former category to joint winner Bublin by Anderson. Pock and King's Dead by J. Rock, Kendrick Lamar, Future and James Blake, and God's Plan by Drake in the latter. Prior to his latest loss, the Cactus Jack creative had spoken about his enthusiasm for Utopia being nominated for Best Rap Album. I was like, yes. Okay this time, we just gotta bring it home, he said on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon while recalling his reaction to the news. It means a lot to me. I love music and I love the recording academy. Some of the most amazing and talented artists have achieved that. And as a producer and as a writer and as a musician, I take music very seriously. So I love it. It's amazing. With the Grammys now in his rear view, Travis Scott is set to perform next weekend at billionaire Michael Rubin's Super Bowl party. The A-list affair will also feature performances by Ice Spice, Meek Mill, Ludacris, Neo, ASAP Ferg and Lil Baby. Scott's new film Agro Doctor 1FT is also set to premiere this week at a Los Angeles strip club before touring around the rest of the U.S. According to its synopsis, the film is about a melancholic assassin named B.O. as he prepares to vanquish a demonic crime lord in a Floridian realm of vivid pinks, blazing yellows, and deep purples. But the particulars of its minimalist plot are largely moot, the vibe is what's paramount. The film is directed by Harmony Corrine and stars Scott alongside Jordi Mola, who is best known for his villainous role in Bad Boy.